He is not the number one contender, so rightfully he does not have a shot at the belt as of yet. But if he does come out victorious during this match, he will be highly considered the new number one contender, or at least up there to challenge Reed before the belt. This is a non-title, but that's one of the matches that we have set up for Glendale Park this Saturday. Um, before we move on, I do want to say other matches for that day that have been set. I believe um, with all the turmoil going on with the sideshow, they're a bunch of happy group. P.T. Jester, Lynn Oddity, Zach Mason, Enigma, uh, Punch, the ringleader, the ringmaster, whatever you want to call him. He's, he's, they're all just weird. They're the sideshow. Um, Enigma came out victorious, as you know, with the lightweight championship finally. Um, Creeper, who has been showing up at all of his matches, approached him backstage after his match. And the only things that I heard was, good job, brother, I guess I'm next. Now, we were all confused on why Creeper was here. We were all confused in who was he affiliated with. We know Taylor, his valet. And then Enigma walked into the classroom with the sideshow, and they all surrounded him in their own unique way, and asked him, is the Creeper really your brother? All Enigma could do was drop his head to the desk, and he obviously doesn't speak, so he didn't speak, and um, we were left unanswered. So, Creeper, the new number one contender for the lightweight championship, we will show that match next week, as well as the lightweight championship itself. Um, we'll be facing off against Enigma this Saturday at the free show at Glendale Park. Now, whether they're brothers, enemies, we don't know for sure. We're going to find out Saturday for sure if they are related. I will somehow sit down with Creeper and talk to him man to man and ask him the question, is he the brother of Enigma? We'll find out. But without further ado, we were talking about other things. Um, other matches, just before we wrap things up here to go to my interviews, uh, Big Rick Fuller was victorious against another debut, Ringside Entertainment, debuting new talent every show, it seems. Luke Robinson came out of nowhere and actually gave Rick Fuller a fight. Now, Rick Fuller is the man who just took out Apocalypse and Bo Douglas at the same time at the last Saga show we had. Now he fights newcomer Luke Robinson, who hasn't been around very long. As you all know, Rick Fuller is former WCW superstar. Um... He actually gave a fight to Rick Fuller, so we're hoping to hear big things from Luke Robinson. We don't know what side he's going to be on, but right now he, it was a good match. Um, we already know about the ladies' first ever triple threat, uh, the lightweight championship, the ringside championship. Uh, there was no tag matches because you all know the tag belts have been held up. There will be a tournament starting in September, hopefully, for new tag team champions. Um, what else did we have? We had the, another debut as Jason Rumble, the Boston Bad Boy, was in the ring talking and discussing his egotistical ways. Uh, a friend from the past, Vinny Capelli, appeared. He appeared first on the Saga show we had. Now he appears and he confronts Jason Rumble to tell him about his past catching up to him. Lo and behold, someone slides in the ring. It's Damon Doc Angelo, the baby-faced assassin. He now signs a contract with Ringside Entertainment to fight Jason Rumble that night. Great match. Damon comes out victorious. Jason cannot escape his past. Another debut. As well as in the triple threat we didn't mention, uh, Luscious Natasha was um, a debut in the ladies' triple threat match. And um, what else did we have? We had P.T. Jester defeating, which shocked a lot of people, Apocalypse, who still seems to be on the slide. I don't know what's going on with Apocalypse. i got to have a talk with him. My time has, um, as his manager, I kept him on the fence. I don't know what happened. The staff was stolen by Cameron Replay. I, since then, have no longer have a management position. I am just a backstage ring announcer. But I'm going to talk to Apocalypse soon. But before I run out of time, I do need to go to the first... Ever question 
with the Phoenix. After that interview, we're going to come back here. Then I have another interview that I want to set up and talk about. But you all know this Saturday, Glendale Park, 2 p.m., a free show ringside get, getting back. I got to look at all my notes. I got a lot to do. Check out the interview. We'll be back shortly. It's only a few minutes long. I'm going to go do some more research, and we'll be right back. That was the main event. I am waiting on the Phoenix. I got questions for him. This is the question, and this is my biggest one yet. Phoenix, there he is. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. We got a promise. What happened up there? I mean, I was extremely impressed. You called a match right down the middle. Scott Osborne, a member of the Elite. You, member of the Elite. Reaper, your former tag partner. You basically ripped his arm out of its socket, and now you call it down the middle and the man wins the title? What's going on? You know, there's a lot of history that went into that match. Holmes, I tag team champions with the Reaper. You're good here at least. You're aligned with Scott Osborne with being part of Team Elite. Right. But you know what? A lot of things have been changing lately, and I've been in this company for a long time. You've been I've been in this scary. company through its ups and through its downs. Mm -hmm. You know something, as soon as Scott Osborne decided to join Team Elite, mm -hmm. all of a sudden the Phoenix got pushed away as the leading role. I felt that, yeah. I started team. You were out of there, huh? You know something? I didn't appreciate the way TJ Anderson started treating me. I didn't like the way Kevin Replay started treating me. I didn't like the way Justin Case started treating me. And I sure as hell didn't like the way Scott Orr's been treating me. They treated you like a pawn. You were like the dummies. What was that? You're on your... Are you going to let me finish? Now, after tonight, you're going to see a brand new Phoenix. I'm not listening to anyone anymore. Be part of my own. Not aligned with anybody. Because I'm sick and tired of taking orders. From Joe Schmoes. And jerks. And losers. Like Cameron Replay. Like TJ Anderson. Like Justin Case. And definitely like Scott Osborne. So what are you saying? You're, you're going after anybody who gets in your way? Anyone. You get in my way. I'm going to steamroll right over you. If you get even close to me, I'm going to knock your lights out. If you try to talk to me, I will punch you directly out of existence. Why do you play on be one of those people? I'm just saying, in front of me? I was impressed with what you did. Mm -hmm. uh, my man, is stunning. I'm going to step back right now. So Phoenix does the right thing. Oh, it's totally it's a brand new Phoenix in town, huh? Yeah, just say I'm not gonna take DS from anyone anymore, apparently. It took you a while. <laughs> we try to go, but if you are gonna listen to anyone, it should be a Taylor. I, I don't know what to say, but I guess there's a brand new Phoenix, and we're gonna have to see what happens at the next show. Because we have a new ringside champion as well as a new lightweight champion. Ringside's getting good and it's only going to get better. This is the question and I'm out. <laughs>